Hey guys, welcome back to the Financial Experiment. Today we're going to be looking at my Robinhood stocks and see how they performed over the last week. So the first thing you'll notice is that last week I mentioned that I like to keep at least $1,000 in my account to, to play with and it's just under that. So I did spend a little bit of money and we'll take a look at what I got in just a bit. So first, it looks like over the past week I'm up 8.5% for a total gain of $2,453. And that's pretty awesome. Over the past month, I'm up 14%, and it looks like overall I'm up 69% for a total gain of $13,448. So the biggest moves today actually happened on my REITs. I did spend a decent amount of money on REITs when they were down 80 plus percent. I bought them when the dividend yield would have been about 80%, which is crazy. And it, it was a gamble. It was an experiment. And it looks like today it's, it's kind of paying off. I'm up 40% on MITT, 30, 29% on uh, MFA, Analyze up a little bit. But, you know, uh, but let's take a look at this and see what, um, what we've got. We're, we're up a total of 34% for a profit of $354. My average cost is $2.87 and right now we're sitting at $3.85. And really, I, I bought these dividend stocks because of the dividend. Uh, now, I'm not expecting to be paid a dividend this month or this year, to be honest. If it does come through, that's awesome. But I did buy them more of a, as a long-term play, hoping that in, in about a year, things will go back to normal. And when that happens, I will have just bought about $2,000 worth of dividends that pay a yield of about 80% year over year. So that's... Uh, if that works out, that's awesome. I did buy uh, Realty Income, some O. Um, when it was a little low, my average cost is $50. And the dividends are coming. I uh, see here $2.80. I believe I set them up to uh, reinvest so they drip. For those of you who don't know what drip is, it stands for Dividend Reinvestment Plan. And that is essentially when you receive a dividend, that money will be used to buy fractional shares or whole shares if you can. But in my case, I'm only getting $2.80. I can only buy a fraction of uh, realty income. But what's going to happen is that my next dividend will be a little bit bigger than $2.80. Right? Next month, I'm going to get just a little bit more. And then next month, just a little bit more. And then the month after that, just a little bit more. So that way it compounds, right? And um, that's how you end up making more and more money. All right, let's see what I got. Tesla, Tesla, what did you do over the past week? Uh, what did you do? Okay. Mm. All right, Tesla's up 3.32%, which is not a huge deal, especially for a company like Tesla. But, uh, you know, gains are gains, so I'll take it. Uh, what else do I have? Microsoft. Microsoft for, over the past week up 2.51%. That's pretty solid for Microsoft. Microsoft is one of those stocks that it doesn't go up huge, but it's just constantly going up. So like before you know it, you're up like, let, let's see, how, how high am I on, on Microsoft? 28%. That's not bad at all. Yeah, Microsoft is one of those stocks where it's relentless. It just keeps going up. And even on, on downturns when the stock market is on a selling spree, Microsoft is usually pretty sturdy. You, you, it's hard to find uh, Microsoft on sale. All right, Facebook, over the past week, you're up 2.69%. All right, I'll take it. Apple. Apple over the past week, up 4.22%. That's nice. AMD. My one share of AMD. What have you done? You're down 0.6% for a total loss of 32 cents. Why, AMD? How dare you? But uh, I'm totaling a profit of $1.64. So that's, that's super exciting, $1.64. What else do I have? <laughs> okay. I mentioned I bought, I, I bought some stocks, and some of it is SPCE. I'm down 13% week over week. Uh, all in all, I'm down 14%. Um, but, like I said before, 
I think that the the reward versus the risk plus how little I'm really invested in SPCE. I mean, what what I have? One hundred fifty eight dollars. That's fine. That is. What does it say? My percentage. Zero point four eight percent of my portfolio. That's fine. It's it's an experiment, right? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Watch the next episode and see how much more money I lose. Nerve. All right, so. I did buy some Minerva. Minerva, honestly, this is this is why this is called the financial experiment. I don't, I don't freaking know what I'm doing, right? All I'm looking at is this this pattern here. And I'm looking at how little how little time it spent in the four dollar range, right? Like here's it's just below three dollars, here's four dollars, here's four dollars, here's five dollars. But just by looking at this chart, it, it sits at four dollars for such a little amount of time that I, I mean, maybe I'm an idiot, and maybe the company is gonna go down right now. This is this is when it goes bankrupt, right? But that's a risk I'm taking right now because just by looking at this chart, it looks like within the next couple of weeks I should be able to sell this for a profit, uh, a decent profit, actually. I'm thinking I might sell at around six dollars. We'll see. And if you want to see how much money I lose with this investment, check out the next week's episode and see what happens. All right, let's move on to the next one. I've already covered. Oh, NLA Stag. What is Stag doing? Over the past week, Stag, you're up 5.28 percent. That's pretty cool. You can see here I have a pending dividend of a dollar eighty. That's exciting. I love money. What is next? MFA. MFA over the past week is up 76%. That's crazy for a dividend stock. All in all, I'm up 30% for a total profit of $497. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to get dividends from MFA. I know I didn't get some last time. I'm not expecting to get some this time, but man, it would be awesome if I did. I'll let you know if I get it. Uh... MITT up 60.60% over the past week for a total profit of 33.96%. That's $350. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm getting dividends. We'll see. And S&P 500. This is is this the only stock that I'm down? Let's see. Total return. No. Okay, so I'm, I'm down $23 here. 42 cents nerve. You've got some nerve. You're making me lose money in SPCE. All right, so I guess that's how this week has performed. It's awesome. I can't believe my dividend stocks went up so much. And if you want to keep tracking this account and see how much money I win or lose, uh, if you want to take a look at what stocks I'm investing in or what stocks I'm thinking about investing in, and if you also want to get into the investment business, there's a link down below for Robinhood and Weeble. I do recommend Robinhood for beginners. I, I'll be honest. I tried to buy a stock on Weeble last week. I couldn't do it. I couldn't find the buy button. I, when you hit like the, the stock, there's like a, a minimum price or like a maximum price. And when you send it through, it's got to like hit the right price. Maybe I'm an idiot. I probably am. But I, I don't know. They redesigned the whole thing and I don't know how to buy stocks anymore through Weeble. So I definitely recommend Robinhood. I know a lot of other YouTubers are very heavy on Weeble just because it has higher incentives for YouTubers. You know, they get like more back for um, referrals. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you're just starting to invest money in the stock market, use Robinhood. It's so much easier. The buy button is just right there. Weeble is so confusing. Anyways, that's the end of this week's video. If you hated it, give it a thumbs up so I know you hated it. And if you liked it, Give it a thumbs up, but like harder, so I know you really liked it. And if you want to follow along with my financial experiments, hit the subscribe button, maybe that bell notification, and I'll see you next time.